Our next tool for uh, mapping is a sort of a quick mapping, but it's not any modifier of a sort. It's actually on our textures. For that, I'm going to open this teapot. And you can already see here that it has a, a seams from this map. Okay. So the way it works is this is the material I have. This is the texture. And what I do is I add this uh, in, in my V-Ray maps, I add this V-Ray tree planner text. And uh, right now I'm going to add one texture to, to be projected in all the axes. So I add my texture and I uh, add my diffuse, my V-Ray tree planner to the diffuse map. And when I see right now my V-Ray RT, it's actually all properly mapped. So I'm going to change it back. So it just you just see the difference. There are my seams. Okay. And now with the V-Ray tree planner, I have everything uh, properly displayed. The way this works, I have another V-Ray tree planner here applied with three different colors. Okay. And uh, I'm going to tell it to do it with uh, different textures. So I have one texture per axis. Okay. And so the blue texture is going to be on my X axis. The purple texture is in, on my set axis and the orange texture is on my Y axis. Okay. And I can uh, also adapt how much they are blurring between them. So now you see how much it blurs. Okay. If I go back to my other texture here, you could also uh, affect the scale. So for example, I can make it a lot more tile just with a 0.5 you already see tiling. Okay, that's why it comes with a 0.01. Uh, and by the way, if I would add a UV mapping to, to this um, teapot, and I will say it's a, a box and change it and do whatever. I will see it on my viewport, but I don't see it here uh, on the render. Okay, so uh, this kind of replace my mapping. Also, even without the UV mapping or anything, you won't really see the effects of the tree planner Another interesting feature, if you will now see the texture, it's all being applied uh, very homogeneously on the object. If I would like these elements to be more randomly applied, one thing we can see is that actually the, the pot has different elements. Okay, it's not all one element. So let's say I want the, the texture to be randomly applied. For that, I have to add another modifier material by element so that every element has a different ID. I'm going to put random distribution and at least 10 IDs. And when I open my V-Ray tree planner, I can start checking this so that everything uh, is more randomly applied and rendered by face. And now you see that they are not exactly using the same map. Okay. If I, if I go back actually, and check this so that you can see the difference. And it goes back to what we had before. So basically, um, this is not going to unwrap my object. Okay, it's just going to apply very easily a texture on top of it. So when, for example, I want to add some dirt to this, I don't have to map this object just to add some dirt. I can just use the 3D, the V-Ray Tree Planner texture and add the, the dirt to it, okay?